Everybody, welcome back. I'll be your host, Turtleberg, and we're here on the Modern Horizons Express. Can we just take this iceberg cancrix? Hope this astrolabe tables or this snow covered forest, or do we just take the rot pack widow? What is. Chester Pooh, what's going on? Tell LA I said hello. Oh, I love Louisiana. It's a little it's a little state versus city humor. It's a good time. Oh, multiple times a month seems crazy, man. I wish I had that kind of I wish I had that kind of cube draft and freedom. I have a cube here that just goes to waste. Where do you guys live? I'll come I'll come live with you and I'll join I'll join your drafts. Okay. Um well, Alright, we'll take the good card. Ooh, Soul Herder? Jeez. Remember how good our other Soul Herder deck was? <clears throat> oh boy. It's gotta be Soul Herder, right? Portland? I'm in. That's a great city anyway. I went to a wedding in your city and it was very, very nice. <clears throat> I enjoyed all the food and game stores that I went to. Yep, we're audibling into Soul Herder. I don't think it's particularly close. Moonblade Shinobi, that's a good dude. But we also have two very good strategies here that we can go into. We don't have to actually stick with one. What's the command for Frank's Cube? <coughs> Literally Frank's Cube. I think. There it is. It has not been updated for the most like recent few sets, though, so... <coughs> Keep that in mind. I would definitely add some things or remove some things. Uh, it's a Moonblade Shinobi, right? Like, I mean, this card's just good. It's just a solid blue dude. If I'm ever in Houston, I will take you up on that. Hmm. Phantom Ninja? Uh, Alright, I mean... I was hoping for the snow deck, maybe, but... I wasn't hoping for it, I guess. I wanted that Iceberg Cancrix, but... Unless you get multiple Cancrixes... Then you're just, you're just... I Actually, eh, we can go. I think Wing Shards is good. Let's take Wing Shards. There's no reason for us to try to be blue-black after we have a Broad Pack Widow and Soul Herder. We might as well just stick to this blue-white. And then you get a pack like this where you're like, well, this has nothing in it. That's sad. Is it true that Mike's dad never came back because he was seduced by Miss Robinson? Uh, no, Mike would be the one seduced by Miss Robinson. Uh, I think you're getting your graduate history confused. <clears throat> God, is it just Venomous Changeling now? Jeez. This pack is terrible. Why? I mean, we could just take Scour, which... And we'll take the Trustworthy Scout. Maybe we'll get another Trustworthy Scout. And it's a two-drop, whatever. Pondering Mage and a Settle? Ooh. -y. Um, Pondering Mage goes better with Soul Herder. Yeah, it's good with Ninjas. Settle is just settle. I'm going to take the settle. I think we're going to be able to find more pondering mages. Squirrel nest with snow covered forest and multiple prime tenders. Rhyme tenders. One of my most recent IRL draft. Yeah, that seems great. Conifer worm is one of the most broken uncommons in the format. Oh, 
Ooh, my brother runs a vegan pizza spot that is absolutely delicious. So I'm, I'm a big fan of regular cheese, <clears throat> but I would for sure try some vegan pizza. And if you say it's absolutely delicious, I will trust you. I think it's just Recruit the Worthy here. None of these three cards in our colors are good. Recruit's actually decent, though. If we get, like, a... On Thin Ice? Oh, now we're just... Ooh, now we're talking. Or we could just take trust trustworthy scout. I think it's Anthonice. Anthonice has a better upside. Sizable, sizable. Food always does end up in an argument. Just because you have, you know, the only reason the only reason food ends up in an argument is because you have these ultra hyper aggressive meat eaters. That's literally the only reason. Everyone else is like, hey man, enjoy what you want. You like this? That's cool. I like this. And then the hyper aggressive meat eaters are like. I would sooner die than touch a plant. And you're like, oh, all right, man. Well, that's your choice, bro. I appreciate that. Uh, Twisted Reflection. Without kicking it, not great. I feel like we're we're missing out on a pretty sweet blue-black deck here with this Soul Herder. But I think all our, you know, most of our stuff's white, so... Oh yeah, the Pepper Jack on the Meatball subs too. Those people are absolute monsters. Oh man, Snow Covered Plains or Vesper Lark? Vesper Lark goes well with Soli Boy, but we don't actually have anything to get back. I'm just going to take the Plains here because it turns on on thin ice. Uh, Enchanted Snowland. There are definitely people who get mad at people for eating me. Just say, oh yeah, no, but not, no. I'm saying they don't. I'm not saying those people don't exist. I'm saying they're not in my chat. When my chat, my chat is usually pretty tolerant of everybody. No one in my chat gets mad at people for eating meat. That's not the thing. Oh, all right. Enduring sliver seems like a solid two. Yeah, I'm specifically talking about my chat. None of these cards are good. Banana on pizza? Oh, geez. See, this is it. This is why we can't talk about food. Because then you guys get all SpongeBob meme. Banana on pizza? And I'm like, oh, God, please. You guys, have some self respect. Ooh, Ice Fang Codal. That's a blinkable card. Oh yeah, we're taking that for sure. We could have two Rot Pack Widows, but I, th I don't think a black green cards are very good. I'm gonna take the Ice Fang, because it's also good to Soul Herder. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, we're just doing it. I wish this was a Snow Covered Forest, but. Have you ever put another pizza on a pizza? It's amazing, that sounds amazing. John, what are you guys working on right now? <laughs> uh, string of Disappearance seems good. Rocks Veteran seems very good. Rocks Veteran is where you want to be. Oh, also Moonblade Shinobi with Ice Fang Kodal. That's also... We are developing games. <laughs> fantastic. Well, you let me know when LA Noir 2 is coming out. That would be fantastic. Also, if you could just want to, if you want to send an email off and be like, "Hey, a friend of mine wants to see L.A. Noir too. Can we get on that?" I would appreciate it. I would appreciate that. Oh, 
Valiant Changeling. Oh, Mana War? I think Mana War is probably better here because we have Soul Herder. So. Alright, well, Mana War. I'm just going to bounce one of your creatures every single turn. Oh, also Vesperlock gets back Soul Herder. That was a pretty strong incentive to have taken the Soul Herder. Or to have taken the Vesper Lark. I always forget about that. It's basically Soul Herder insurance. I do want to find easy ways to splash this. Maybe like a Talisman, a Blue-Green Talisman. Or probably like, I'll play a Cave if we get one. I think these guys are finally cutting our grass, maybe? That seems good. Oh yeah, we're getting some we're getting some lawn cuttage here. Nope, that's not the right one. I guess it's just this. Oh yeah, guys, I'm so sorry. The background noise is definitely uh it's gonna be it's gonna be lift in here. Oh man, if we could find a way to play this grave shifter, dude. Soul Herder Grave Shifter seems insane. Is it just better to take... It's either Snow Covered Plains or Grave Shifter. Like, this is one of the things I like about this format, is that it kind of rewards you. Like, you can take a basic land, which makes some of your other strategies much, much better. Or you can be a little bit risky. I think we're just going to take this. Oh, no, that's not what we wanted. Oh, uh, nope, that's not what we wanted either. Dang it. Biscuits. If we took the Grave Herder, though, we could actually take uh, this Talisman and it would be all right. Mob is also pretty good, but we're just going to take the um, the Pondering Mage here. Oh yeah, Man of War is a, uh, is, a, is, a, is a fish. It's a jellyfish. It's an actual jellyfish, yeah. A Vietnamese Man of War, is that what it is? All right, so we're blue and white. Splice onto an instant or sorcery. Maybe this card's not terrible. If we play recruit, if we buy back recruit for four, like at seven mana, ranking one, one, and four, is that better than just one lancer sliver? Maybe. I'll give it a shot. I have yet to give it a shot, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll take snow covered planes. The more snow covered planes we have, the better our on thin ice is, which is solid removal. Oh, exclude. Yeah, this pack's pretty pretty terrible. Oh yeah, they're cutting our grass right now, and it's great. I'm thrilled about it. Oh, the city's installing a new water pipe in my house, so the water is shut off today and pretty loud here while they tear up the ground. They're probably just doing that in preparation for my visit, so that when I get there, the water's going to be on point. I appreciate it. Tell them I appreciate that. That's nice of them. I actually, I played Martyr Soul a few times, and I realized how hard it was to get this guy into a 5-4. But maybe, maybe it's easier than I thought. Maybe you just play, because you have to have three guys by turn four. Coming to you live from my new place, I'm now all fully moved in, not even close to me on pa Badger, congrats, buddy. Hopefully your new place is great. <laughs> I had to make a couple calls, but figuring only the best water pipes for you. <laughs> God, I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Sometimes, sometimes you just go visit people and they're like, and you see their water pipes and you're like, wow, you didn't even change these, did you? These are just the same water pipes you already had. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, typical. 
It just makes me sad. I just feel like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picky. You know, I'm not like. I just feel like you know, any water pipes will do. Yeah, or not, not any water pipes will do. Rather. It's certainly a place. Is that good or bad? Oh no. I'm hoping it's good. Our deck is looking good. I think I like the cards that we have in our deck. Oh, this is four to splice. So if we splice it onto this. Uh, boy. I'm just going to take all the snow covered lands. Whatever. We still have another pack, thankfully. By water pipe, you just mean bong, right? Somebody touch my spaghetti! It's good so far. Neighbors are quiet. It's nice and secure. Okay, so then that seems good. You made it sound like, well, it's certainly a place. And I was like, that sounds bad. Whenever people say that, it's like, oh no. That seems terrible. Wow, that, like, or scale guardians should not be going this late. It's a 4 4 flying haste creature. Oh man, these people have no respect. I took the unearth because maybe we can unearth a soul herder if, like, our mana base permits. We do have, we have a snow covered swamp we can just toss in the deck. Come on. So I would put a martyr soul in the four drop spot. I feel like this pack is where oh, wait, where did it go oh there it is i feel like this pack is where the deck really has to come together so i got an email today from samsung right i'm trying to register my monitor for like the warranty right so i have to register on the samsung website and I got an email today. More information required. We have reviewed your warranty information and unfortunately we're not able to confirm your proof of purchase. I literally purchased it from the fucking Samsung website. I'm like, you can't confirm my... They literally link me to the serial number of the monitor I'm referring to that I purchased from their website. My phone number or store number. It date of purchase. It's literally in my account. It's literally on my Samsung account. And I'm just like... I don't understand. It's, it's comical. Like, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. So I'm going to literally have to call Samsung and be like, Hey, can you confirm my my purchase that's literally on your web... That you can literally go to your... You can log into the website and see it. Is that a thing you can do? I appreciate it. I hate, I hate passing Pyrophobia. This is a sideboard card at best, right? Enduring Sliver is maybe like the best card here. Maybe we just take Morophon as a 6-6 six, six for 7 with that, that pumps creatures. I mean, like, it's not great, but... Eh, Vesper Lark. I like a Vesper Lark. A second Exclude, though? Man. <laughs> and they're going to be like, sorry, we can't confirm it. And I'm like, but it's on your side. All you have to do is log in. That's all you got to do. Oh, we can also get the Ice Fang Kotal back with Vesper Lark, which is pretty sweet. But but a firmly worded note that essentially calls them a bunch of idiots. <laughs> oh, Watcher of Tomorrow. Oh, and a Man of War. Oh, man, we're not going to get both of these. That's sad. I think we want Watcher of we won't watch her for tomorrow. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? Who's hungry? My dad. I'm not a fan of your ruse. My what? 
Your ruse. Your cunning attempt to trick me. I was merely pointing out, and I hope it felt good. You hope what felt good? I hope it felt so good to be right. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others. Thank you. Oh, Badger with 13,000 gifted subs. You are the man, my friend. We'll just take this man ore. Thank you. You passed two man ores in this draft? No. Oh, in the, in the whole draft, maybe. But it's okay, because I got this one. Also, Ayula is insane, Thank right? You. We don't have any bears, though. We kind of do. We have Imposter. And we have... Morophon. That's a lot of bears. Mana Ward is. I really need some floaty boys or something. I need Thank something you. that goes... Oh, man. Speak of the devil. I need something that floats. All right, I'll take this Blizzard Strix. Beautiful. Beautiful Thank boy. You. Badger, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. I hate when you get locked out of your email, you notify customer support, and then they send you a link so you can get, but they send it to the email. You're like, but I can't get to this. And they're like, well, maybe you're fake. Uh, Winter's Rest could be good here. If we can pick thank up like some, a couple more snow lands, I think. But this just has to be a snow permanent, right? Whenever it doesn't have some control. Uh, yeah, as long as we have Thank a snow you. permanent, which is nice. Ice Fang Kotal not looking great. I would like a caves and some... I'd actually am pretty good. I think Phantasmal Form can come out if we need it to. We also have Martyr Soul, which is pretty Thank iffy. You. Morophon's pretty iffy, so... Enemies with the resub. Thank you so much. 11 months. I should probably stop now because commitment freaks me out. Tell you what. I won't... I won't, I won't, I won't expect anything of you, buddy. I won't expect anything of you. So this is sad because I like Frostwalk Bastion because it is a snow permanent for on thin ice. I do like snow covered plains for the same reason, and I like caves because it lets us splash the ice fang codal. I think I'm going to take the caves here. I want to be able to play the ice fang codal. Rogue Optic, what's going on, buddy? And if you guys have love in your heart, feel free to continue that gifted sub. That Badger has just supplied to you. That's what's known as paying it forward. Oh, I like a snow covered forest for our ice fang codal. I'm going to take that. Snap it up, as the kids say. No one says that. More like a no permanent MR. I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. Wow, Badger just got a. a, a green gifted sub badge. Dismantling blow? Okay. That's a solid sideboard card. Better than Nature's Chant. I like green. I, I like green. Oh, I, I like green. That's for Mediocracy. Another Snow-Covered Plains? Deal. I feel like our deck's pretty complete. We can probably put something in from the sideboard if we really need to. Scour is actually not terrible. I don't dislike Scour. And we did get a Vesper Lark, which I'm feeling good about. We got a second Mana War. I would have loved um, the 2-2 two -two that makes another guy. And my overvaluing Mana War, I've had as a top blue common and above most blue uncommons. Um, no, I think it's very good. I don't think you can overvalue this. I took Watcher because it draws you a card and because it's a 2-drop, which I think is also valuable. Not necessarily because it's better. Eh, I'm just going to take this. Snow-covered plains again. Wow, this is great. On the Ice is looking real good. Thank you. Oh, Wall of a Thousand. Oh, because Josh could never... Actually, I could probably just play this. Josh never to be outdone. Thank you so much, dude. You guys Thank are you. awesome. <laughs> oh man you guys are great I love you guys Josh thank you. thank you so much dude what does that put you at thank you 245 oh my god dude that's insane that's thank not you. realistic Thank you. Okay, well, there you go. 
Do you, I think you guys have the only two Thank 250 you. gifted sub badges in my channel, so. Wow. That's pretty ridiculous. Thank you. Oh, man, you guys are amazing. You guys are like 250 sub bros. High fives, more like high 250s. Thank you. All right, so. Do we need one more playable? What was the last card we took? Oh, Thank Trustworthy you. Scout's actually terrible because we didn't get any others. Ugh. I'm tempted to just play Talisman and uh, Thank you. and the Unearth because we have Caves and Talisman for Unearth. We could also play the one... Like, it's pretty good with Ice Fang, Kotal, Soul Herd, Mana War. Like, we have a ton of cards that Thank are you. really good. Our last card was Wall of a Thousand Cuts. Thank you. What do we take out for the Unearth, though? Ooh, that's interesting. Our Thank Unearth you. seems very good here. How about Splicer Skill? I don't think that seems great. Thank you. Oh, man, these, these thank yous, guys. Oh, Grandma, thank you so much. Glad you came back, buddy. Glad you came back, Rams. There's a running meme in the stream where Tukili is, uh, is Grandma. And now we can play all of these lands, right? So we have one swamp, one one forest for the Ice Fang Kotal. What is a Mimi? <laughs> Nothing, Grandma. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Karakong at the gifted subs? Karakong, you're not even a sub! Actually, I think Badger, you might have picked up one from Badger, right? Yes, you did. Awesome, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my god. Karakong, thank you, dude. You are thank awesome. You. There's a yellow and purple badge, so maybe 500,000. That would make sense, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. So eight lands. So this is be. Might just be like this. Seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, it's got to be like this, right? Six. Six and six. Is that right? 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, we get one more. We get one and one. That's perfect. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Nothing in our sideboard I'm really interested in. Karakong, Josh, Badger, thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I don't care what they say about you guys on the internet. What do they say about them on the internet? Splashing for unearth and unearth you can just cycle it if you don't if you don't get your thing, so that's not even too bad. Ice Fang is great. Even if it's like like on turn ten, Ice Fang is great. And we have a ton of snow permanents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh eight. This is a snow permanent, so nine. And we're playing this Morophon. We can name jellyfish. <laughs> Fantastic. I think I think it is better than Ice Wang Kotal. Yes, that is that is correct. Ice Chew Codal, that would be Mike, yes. Oh, this hand is bad. This hand is bad, but not terrible. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Like, it's not a bad hand. It just doesn't do anything. Oh, that's a, hey, that's a nice Fang Codal you got there. Okay, let's lead with an island, so if we draw Ice Fang Kotal, we can play it. How's that sound? It sounds good. Oh, okay, thanks.
Oh, Scour on turn. Didn't this person beat us yesterday, Aerodynamic? How do I find out? Oh no, that just changes avatar. We're not going to change from Ragavan game history. Go to the bottom. Yes, they did. Wow. O2. Unbelievable. The rematch, ladies and gentlemen. I can close this Dominaria. Turn to my game. Didn't draw Ice Fang Quiddle. Just drawing mono five drops, guys. Hey, buddy, nice fang codal. Oh, I see. Well, ice fang codal is going to hit the graveyard. Two islands? Sure. Deal. Probably never casting. Po <laughs> okay. I see. Seems good. Well, now I guess we can cast it. This guy doesn't do anything as a 3-2. So I'm just going to pass here. I already feel like we're dead. It's really weird when you're playing games like this and you're like, well, I just can't beat Iceberg Cancrix. Enduring Sliver and Rocks Veteran. So yikes for me, dog. Rock and roll ain't no explanation. Yeah, I guess we'll just go island. Still wish I had four drops. Oh, nice burger can crooks you got there. Hey, buddy. Don't talk about my cancrix. Don't talk about my bird cancrix. This is yikes orama from me. Oh boy. Come on, get out of here. Same targets. Didn't attack with their iceberg can cricks. Do -do 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 okay, so it's probably pondering mage. Yeah, I like Pondering Mage here. Um, the problem is we're only going to keep one of these. I think we want the Blizzard Strix. I mean, ideally, they just run out of snow permanence, right? How many can they have? I don't know. All right. Okay. Excuse me. I mean, with 19 cards, I think we're okay, but I really don't want to. Forty-five, the max amount they can have. Is that the max amount? Oh, because one in each pack. That is the max amount. Wow, that's pretty smart. 
God, you're smart, Karakon. How did you get this smart? I went to smart school, you see. <laughs> oh, we didn't, uh, we get to keep that. Okay, okay. So what we can do is exile one of these. I'm actually more threatened by this than by this. We're technically at 18 life, and this is like an unblockable two damage every turn. And we also take a point during our upkeep. <laughs> Essentially, that's kind of what we're, what we're working with here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we know we're going to draw a plane, so I don't really care about this. We could name Snake, and then we just get to cast this guy for free. Next time we can go draw the planes, play this guy, cast, name Snake, cast this guy. It's a 2 2 flyer. I think we just want to settle and get rid of this guy. Or this guy, rather. I just don't care about a 3 4 when we're at 20. Uh, oh, I don't want. I don't want. I'm gonna. I don't want either of these. But I do like the Winter's Rest. I'm gonna any order and shuffle it. That's worse. But we would have guaranteed to draw two mana sources before, and I don't think that's better. So. We have six cards, they have seven cards. We have six lands, they have five lands. So we're basically even. They have six more cards in their deck, but... Iceberg Cancrix number two. I assume they drew... I assume they drew that, so. And number three. Wow. Wow. Soul Herder, that's unfortunate. Mana War. I don't want to blink any of these creatures, which is the, the comical part. Let's name Snake. Let's name it Snake because it's just, this guy's free and it's a 2 2 flyer, so. So any snow permanent is going to mill us for 4 and we're at 14, so we're probably dead here. Oh boy. Our hand seems good, at least. Winter's Rest, a snow permanent. I mean, I guess that's fine. The milling for four is the worst part. But we do get to blink this guy, so. Yeah. It's okay, we just have to win in ten turns. Ice Fang Quotal, or nine turns, because we get to draw off the Ice Fang. Interesting. I mean, I assume they have a ninja here. Some type of ninja. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> sure. So no ninja. Or they could still have ninja, I guess. I don't know. I also miss Legacy Cube. Okay, that was a weird attack. I don't understand anything right now. One, two, three, four, five, and then we have three mana left over. <sighs> don't know what it is. Penis and step. Let's play land. So we're gonna play Blizzard Strix here. I don't know if this guy's great as a three-two. It might just be better to play Mana War one, two, three, four, five. Like this bounces this guy. It just forces them to replay it on their turn. Yeah, they get to draw a card, but. I don't think we care about that too much. Blue and white. Draw a card. Sure. Snowland! Waiting for it. Oh look, it's your boy. I don't know what it is. I mean, this is going to be five flying power on board and a Morophon. We could also name a different tribe, like Human, which makes this guy a threat and this guy a threat. Well, maybe not this guy, because it still gets blocked by all these things, so. And we just have to not get milled for, like... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Power, huh? Alright, sure. It's pretty scary. Yeah, we have to do it on the main phase. That is correct. Uh, I think we're still doing Snake here. It still seems fine. I don't know what it is. I think I've slept 30 plus hours in just one day? Well, they're just going to mill us for three here. Which is their right to do. Oh, we're so close to just being able to play this guy for free. Dang. Oh, it costs one because he's a... 
Oh, yeah, boy. That's nice. I mean, if they have any snow permanent, we're dead, right? So might as well just overload the board. Do I even want a card under here? I don't think so. Whatever. No snow land, I guess. Fingers crossed. That's not a snow land. No creature with power. Th All right, that's a thing. That mills us for two. That kills us. Fantastic. That's amazing. Mill us for mill us for two. Sack mana ward. Mill us for two more. Wow. <sighs> literally the turn before we kill them. Of course, because that's always how it works. It's literally always how it works every single time. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. What do you need? One more turn? I'm not going to give it to you. Dismantling Blow actually seems pretty good here. It's funny because we're splashing green and black, so... Tempting to just add this. This is round one. Jesus, this is taking forever. Add a phantasmal form. Add one island. I had to go cut onions for dinner. We did not win. We literally win on the next turn, but... I will play first. Keep. Yeah, this is another game where, like, I'm just... See, again, like, Martyr Soul just doesn't impress me. I'm just like, okay, you're a 3-2, but I have to have three creatures out by turn four in order to make you a... Because, like, it's not possible... Like, there's no one-drops, really, in this format that you want to play. So a two-drop and a three-drop is not going to do it. I mean, I guess we're just playing it here. And then next turn we can start recruiting the worthy. <laughs> also, Soul Herder blinking this guy when we didn't play anything is fine. I mean, it's not great. Oh, good thing we bought, brought Dismantling Blow in. Oh, that's a good hit. Interesting. Guess we should have attacked first. How many snow covered lands do we have in total? Like five or six? Why? Morophon the Boundless. I know that I can't 
You got it. Mill me for two. Do I just make another guy? How greedy do I get with this? Yeah, it seems fine. Oh, dismantling blow. Interesting. What is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Hmm. Yeah, that actually seems not terrible. I would have liked to draw the two cards there, but, you know. Uh, that seems pretty good. They're going to just block here, and then we can Mana War. Or not Mana War, Phantasmal Form, rather. Uh, I have never listened to the Silver Jews. Island, so we can exclude. And I feel like you're. You might be dead soon. Well, that was good. And that's the end of the game. That's the name of the game. So we saw Fountain and Astrolabe. Winter's Grasp. I think I think Dismantling Blow is fine. I think that's enough. I could bring a Nature's Chant, but I really don't. Also, Nature's Chant is just better than Disenchant and Naturalize, right? So I can just put four of these in my in my modern play stuff and then take out the other two options, right? I can't think of a situation where either is worse. My two go-to artists for lyrics are Jake's, Blake, Schwarzen, Blake Schwarzenbach from Jawbreaker and Jets to Brazil and The Forgetters and Matt Berninger from The National. Those are my two go-to. Do you ever watch yourself? Not really. Oh, he passed away a few days ago. Interesting. That's really sad. That's too bad. Do you ever watch? Your, do you ever watch other people watch yourself? No, that'd be weird too. Sometimes, uh, I'll go to my friends' houses and I'll be like, "Hey, put my videos on," and then I'll I'll stand behind them and watch them watch my videos. That's not true. None of that's true. Looks like it's about to rain. These guys are still out there killing it with the with the lawns and things. Oh, I'll keep this in my this hands fine because of talisman. So we get soul herder and we have exclude. So okay, I'm doing it. Oh, soul herder vesperlock. That doesn't do anything, but that's okay. Uh, they're not angrily mode. They're actually just regular. They're normal cutting. They're doing. It's hard for a weed whacker to not sound angry. Like a, a leaf blower. It's hard for those things to sound 
anything but angry. The National Carmen in September. I've only listened to one song, but my wife likes them and bought tickets. Oh, man, I'm totally going with you guys. Is it the weekend of the pre-release? I have yet to see The National. The National is one of my few bands that I love that I haven't seen. I've seen American Football Live, which I never thought I would have because they broke up years ago and they reformed recently. Uh, I, I never thought I'd see Jawbreaker Live, and I've seen Jawbreaker Live twice. Like, there's a lot of bands recently which I thought I never would have seen, but then I ended up seeing, so... I have not purchased Endgame. I have... I may have downloaded Endgame. If we cast this and they counter it, we can't get it back with Solar. If we cast Solar and they counter it, they can get it back with Vesper Lark. Actually, we can unearth anything, right? So I'm just gonna cast this guy and start start nicking you for two. Yeah, I'll just come for the September 5th national show. Oh god, are they gonna counter this? They're gonna cruise and Tusker, and then I'll just stay until the September 30th pre-release. I think this works out well. We can uh, we'll really get to know each other. Okay, so five mana. This is Pondering Mage. That's a nice one. That is a solid gentleman that I would have loved to counter here. Okay, so can we do multiple things? No, we cannot. We can just play Soul Herder and start growing it. Grow the Soul Herder. Which I think is actually fine. I mean, we could cycle on Earth, but uh, did I play? I played some of the Spider-Man DLC. I haven't played all of it yet. I really need to, though. There was a sun once. Yeah, that's a good song. Um, oh, is this really what you want to do? No damn sky gonna do anything, anything. Uh. This is why we didn't unearth because we want, or this is why we didn't cycle unearth because we want to be able to get this back if we can. <laughs> Tempted to block here if they attack with this guy, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're a deck that really puts a lot of pressure on us. Okay, untap. Oh, you're gonna just play Astrolabe? Sure. Sure. Would you be up for playing other games on stream too, or just MTG? Actually, we discussed this recently, and I might be starting to play Witcher on Sundays. That might be a thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block here and get the Soul Herder back, I think, maybe. Or we can just get Soul Herder back, keep up Exclude. We can also keep up Recruit, which is very, very nice. If we get back Soul Herder, we still have to unearth this guy, but we don't get to deal two. 
So there's really no benefit to that, I don't think. Okay, we're going to play this. Unearth, Soli Boy. Yeah, I might be playing Witcher 3 starting this weekend. And it's probably going to take like a thousand sessions. I can't even imagine how long it's going to take. Because I'm working on a game and it would be the best if you took a shot at it when it's done. Really? Tim, what do you... Is it for a job or is it just for fun? Does Hulk have money because it looks like he eats a lot? <laughs> uh, he's not like... I mean, Bruce Banner's not known as like a millionaire in the comics. He's not really a rich character. There was a son once... Take five. I'm just gonna go to nine here. Oh, it's my job on the art director. Tim, can I ask where you work and or what you're working on? No. Leave me alone. Oh, that's interesting. Sure. Don't do anything, anything. Banner is a poor American, which means he is never in a calorie deficit. <laughs> he's not rich, but he just goes to fast food restaurants a lot, so that calorically he's always he's always on top. My favorite thing after getting the grass hut cut is is letting Hunter out. And then he gets all excited because it's all cut. This seems pretty good. Same targets. I mean, I'll go to three here. <laughs> I'm not terribly concerned. Unless they want to like... Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's lethal, I guess. Uh, that's gross. Oh, all right. Well, do we play a land this turn? No. So we'll put this guy, this guy, and this guy. No shuffles. Play this. I mean, we're just dead if they have a way to to deal with our Vesper Lark, unfortunately. So it's sad because great play, but if they have like Winter's Rest, then we just get to die. And they're going to go tap, tap, Winter's Rest, kill you. Oh, they did not kill us. We get a block. And we have to block. So we have seven damage on board. Oh boy, that's so bad. We can recruit and deal one more damage. Yeah, that's crazy. I guess they could activate that guy. They can also activate their Frostwalk Bastion. So five, six, seven.
Yeah, like they have two blockers. One, two, activate. One, two, three, activate. Or I guess, I guess they have one blocker, but it's still enough to block the... Your boy. Five, six, seven. I wish we had a land here, because then we can actually... So we need three... Three block... Well, we don't have to actually block this. We need two blockers. And Blizzard Strix is one blocker blinks this guy, so... This match has actually been pretty good. They have one card in hand? I feel like we're way ahead here. For obvious reasons. Sure, get to eat a land. That's nice. Everything else we're playing at instant speed. We're going to blink our this guy um on all of these um one two three no shuffles yikes watch your podcast with music mike i think and it was awesome you should do more podcasts we are actually going to start a podcast we have another episode in the queue um i gotta figure out if we're recording this thursday thursday i think is going to be our day to record maybe We'll see. We got to figure out the the ins and outs, the logistics of it. I'm looking forward to it though, because oh, he's Music Mike. He was Music Mike way for a while. He was on stream for a while back. He works in the music industry, which is why he was Music Mike. Rhyme chicken tender. One card. Flashback. Okay. So they're probably like our Hat Mike and Music Mike are not the same people. No. Music Mike is Andrew. He was just here recently. Hat Mike is my friend Nick from New York. Those are two different people. Uh, I'm going to put them on anything other than YouTube. Andrew's podcast, which is called Where, my, Where Are All My Friends, is actually already up there. It's already up on Spotify. It's on it's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's pretty much everywhere you can find a podcast. Coco! I kind of just want to kill this guy. Um, so we'll just blink... Pondering Mage again? Yeah, Andrew's podcast, which is what went up on my YouTube channel recently. Oh. And I tapped in a way that I can't bounce this. I cannot believe I just lost this game in such a stupid fucking way. Two things had to happen. I had to not blink this, and I had to not keep up double blue. And they had to have string of disappearances. I'm actually, it's unfucking believable to me that we just lost this because of that. <laughs> That's the most unbelievable shit I've ever seen in my life. I I can't even I can't even fathom how lucky you have to fucking get for for me to let not leave up two blue, for me to target something else other than your 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 Windhaven, and for you to have as your last card with your last mana, string of disappearances. Like, it's unbelievable. 
Like, we don't lose that game. We're drawing Mana War and we're drawing... We have, like, Rock's Veteran in our hand. Like, we don't actually lose that game in any situation. unreal I can't, like I can't even imagine like I can't even imagine how fucking thrilled you have to be if you're my opponent to like watch your opponent fuck up in those in that many situations you're like wow he left he didn't leave two blue up he targeted the wrong thing and I have string of disappearances the one mana blue card is probably the only card that ever gets you out of that situation cool That's just infuriating. Like, it's such a small thing. Tim, I'm going to scroll up and find the link. Oh, sweet. All right, I opened it. Oh, I love the animation style of this. This looks great. Oh, you're the art director on this, too? Oh, that's awesome. Wow. I like that the first thing that grabs me is the animation style and you're the art director. That's a that's a pretty sweet. It makes you feel better someone texted me today asking if I moved to Tampa because rumor has it I had. That's interesting. Why would that make me feel better? Unless you have actually moved to Tampa. In which case, then hangouts are easier. But I don't think that's the case. And then in which case it makes me feel worse, not better. So I don't know why you'd think that, undreamt tuna. God, I'm like, I'm so, I'm so tilted because of that last, I'm so tilted because of the last round. Like, that's unbelievable. I don't even know the percentages of like, I kept the white up so we can play recruit at the end of the turn if we had to. Like, there was no reason to keep a blue up unless, like, unless we suspect them having String of Disappearance as their literal last card, which makes no sense. Like, I mean, the odds of that are astronomical. Actually, they're not that astronomical. Because what, in 26, if, they, if we knew they had it? Oh, okay, sure. You got me. Is this when it dies? Yes, so we don't actually take the damage. That's great. Oh man, that's so dumb. It's like it's only like, it's a fifty play point difference at the very, at the very least. You're astronomical because you're a Walladil. What's going on, buddy? Oh my god, I'm just like, I'm not even mad. I'm just disappointed. I mean, this is a hundred percent block, right? Like, if you want to, I'll take two and take this guy off the board forever. And that's your turn? Sure. Now I have... Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to exclude this guy. You're excluded. Now I have shield your eyes stuck in my head. I'll play my Orcish Hellraiser. Man of War. Oh, I like that. Okay, we're getting there. Wizard Rust, Blizzard Sticks. It's probably Blizzard Strix, right? Yeah, it's gotta be Blizzard Strix. Any order of those guys. Who wants an energy drink? I'll take an energy drink, Mr. Colin Man. They only have three cards in hand. I want them to play this guy again and attack with it, and then I can just go wing shards you for two. Wing shards you for two, milk bones. There was a sun once.
It lit up the whole damn sky and kept everything. Everything alive. Oh, we get to blink this guy and exile this guy? Yes. And the next time we get to play Morophon, the Boundless. Excellent. One, two, one. Let's play this. You and you. One, two, three, four, five. Drawing some cards. How about a painting in the process of another one? I'm okay with that. Similar, but different in terms of in terms of oh 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 any order oh boy oh boy we can blizzard strix our watcher and then get the oh man come on let's just stop it just stop it get down little hairs what are you doing factor fiction Yeah, this seems fine. I'm only going to give you one spell. If you want a big bird and a mountain, that's fine. I'm not going to give you... This is, the, this is the worst creature in two lands. Better creature. Worse land for you, so... If we put these two together, I think they snap take these when they have six lands. Alright, they took land and Minotaur. What land did they play? Snowcover Island, and they played Minotaur. So we know they have island in hand. Boom, ba 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 da boom ba da ba the island. We just play Morophon the Boundless against the blue deck. That seems very good. What do we name? Probably human, right? Pondering Mage costs four. I mean, they both, they both cost four, depending on one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think we have more. This is already a human, so now we can attack with this guy. Maybe draw Soul Herder. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That's nice. Oh my god, I'm so mad about that last round, guys. It's one of those situations. So this is this is definitely a situation where a more focused player would have won the game. They would have thought about the outs. How what what can my opponent have with the mana available to change this situation, right? So they would have thought about the outs. Uh they also would have thought about what the opponent could do. Because here's the thing, if you blink the Aven, you're not getting attacked at all. So you're never going to lose in the combat step. Plus, the Aven's going to come back untapped, but they still have to block your Blizzard Strix. And our plan was to block their Aven, which means we give them control. Right? But if, if we're attacking with Blizzard Strix on the next turn, and they're like at 6 life or whatever, um, they basically have to block it. So it's going to die anyway during the next combat. So there was a lot of... I mean, like, we misplayed for sure. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it's interesting to think that in a... in a uh, Like, it's just a situation where, like, we definitely could have played better. Like, it's, it's definitely our fault. I'm not... It, the, the odds are high for our opponent to win that game, but we also played a bunch of things that, like, sh shouldn't we shouldn't have done. Actually, do I just want to Blizzard Strix blink this guy? Get Soul Herder? Is when it leaves play? Yeah, oh my god. That's broken. And then four, five, one, two, three. We can play both next turn. We also get to keep up Blizzard Strix in case they have shenanigans here. Jeez. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna pass here. Five, fun is better than spiky bucks. Phil, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. I just want to acknowledge that the fact that, like, our loss was 100% our fault. But things had to go astronomically correct for our opponent. Because of us, basically. And I was 100% engaging with chat, so oh, now we're just going to Blizzard Strix that guy, so that's fine. And if you didn't engage with chat, I wouldn't be still subscribed 11 months later. Alright, well... I accept that. If that's if that's the uh, if that's the perks of of losing a match every now and then because of distraction, I am okay with it. Oh, they're just gonna counter this. Wow, that's brutal. So now we don't get this. We don't get this. Wow, Jesus. 
That's a yikes for me, dog. Three, four, pondering mage. One, two, three. Let's use the three in the pool, guys. Come on. Uh, any order, and then I'll shuffle them to hit another, another land. Let's five you. I, too, have a Cave of Temptation, my friend. Cave of Temptation is a card where I'm like, if you need the color and you don't have it, it only puts you off one turn. But also the plus two, plus two is very, very strong. Yeah, you getting Jarwicker Song stuck in my head makes you an actual monster. I'm sorry. We knew what this was. Um... Oh, this is also a sorcery, which I think is much, much worse, but. <laughs> Sammy, what are you saying? What are you saying, Sammy? I'm just going to submit like this. I think our deck is good. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. If we can get a green source. Stupid sex thing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Is that a Simpsons reference? Uh, you can splice the golem onto recruit. But like, splicing is four mana and the recruit is one mana. So it's, it's going to cost you five mana. But also, if you want to if you want to recruit with buyback and splice, it's eight mana. So I'm like... It's a cool late game engine, but it's really distracting means sexy Flanders meme in my brain. <laughs> well, that's okay. Oakley dokley. I've been watching for two years on YouTube, but just got Twitch Prime. Oh, Mr. Con Man, you should you should give me a, that give me that sweet Twitch Prime sub. I usually don't. I don't. I usually don't. Don't ask so forwardly. But uh, I figured that's where this was going anyway. So I was just like, let's let's just cut to the chase here, buddy. You did? I didn't get a notification yet. But oh wow, that was rude. That was extremely rude. I don't know why you would do that. I cannot believe you have done this. Sure. Like a month ago? Oh, interesting. Was I was I live? Ooh, that was a good draw. I think we're just gonna mana war make him play this guy again. Either way, Mr. Colorman, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Hey, this guy again, huh? Hey, what are you doing, buddy? No, Amazon Primes don't don't auto renew. You do have to you'd have to renew them each month, unfortunately. Let's go enduring sniver sniver, enduring sniver. Keep up Ice Fang, I like that. Let's attack. What are you gonna do? Block? Doubt it. Oh, they did block. When my opponent makes a land drop, I can't believe you've done this. Same. It's just rude. It just feels rude. Shut up and take my money. Here is a dollar for each time I've distracted you to your detriment. Wow, three times? Is that factually accurate? Yeah, this guy's fine. Well, this is fascinating. Strange things are afoot. Do I just block with Ice Fang Codal? Probably, because then I get to... Keep the pressure. Come play my game, or I'll test you. Remember that, remember that Prodigy song? 
I mean, if we draw Soul Herder, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna blink. Okay, Swamp, sure. Actually, you know what? I'll just take it. I like having this on board. We have Exclude in hand. They have to recast this guy. You know what? I think Soul Herder, Ice Fang is, uh, is better on board with Settle, and it's better with Soul Herder. Yeah, this is fine. I'm just gonna play Island here. Gonna get in there with my duders. Yeah, we're gonna exclude this gentleman. Buddy, you're excluded. Oh, Talisman. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that's just great. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, Sammy, you have like 48 months at least. That's a good amount of time, man. I wonder how many months till my pig gets color. <laughs> I need another white source, but actually we have multiple white sources. I wonder if I just... Let's do this, Jobby. take out wordpress wants to buy tumblr that's interesting all these companies buying other companies facebook buying instagram wordpress buying tumblr they're really interesting also if you guys want to have some deck critiques let me let me have some modern deck critiques and i'll play them today and tomorrow because i'm i'm looking for things to do that don't involve Modern Horizons drafts, so. This is only round two? My god. I feel like these games are taking years. Plus you get to help keep me alive and support me. And everybody likes that. Alright, so we're just gonna do one of these jobbies. Two, three, one, two. Blank my snake. Oh, and I get to play Vesper Lark? Wow, that's great. Cast you. Oh boy. Guess for when that AC breaks again. Thankfully, when the AC breaks, I don't have to pay for it because we just rent. But then I always feel bad for homeowners. I'm like, God, if you're a homeowner and your AC breaks, you just have to get it fixed and you have to pay for that? Oh my god. Which is, I guess, why it's so much cheaper to own than to rent. And by cheaper, I mean upfront. Like your your mortgage is going to be cheaper than a rental than a than your rent. Oh wow, yeah, definitely. We want another another white source. Sure. The joke's on you. I don't even need this green. Homeowner does have the word meow in it. It's called insurance. I don't think you can have insurance against your AC breaking, dude. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's amazing. This is the... Uh, this is the... You also like them big and chunky uh, link that's in the chat right now. Look at these fat boys. These, uh, to be fair, these raccoons are probably extremely not taken care of correctly. That does not seem like a healthy weight for those raccoons, sadly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to play all the lands here. Play the sound. Um. Oh, God. I can only imagine what the sound is. I don't want to get demonetized, though. So, oh, I'll play it later though. I'll leave it up and I'll play it later. I pay a company $12 a month every month to have them on retainer for free AC and heat service. Really? Is this true? Like, I actually didn't know that.
It's like, Mr. Colorman, you, when you asked that, I was like, do I need to change my Twitch? You're like, can you change your Twitch name? I don't like it. I was like, oh man, dang, that's too bad. All right, let's see if this does it. We're getting three in automatically, so they're at two, and if they block here, they take the two. We could have actually just played Recruit for one more last turn. Yeah, Undrum Tuna actually just changed her name. It was Undrum Tuna 832, I believe, and now it's just Undrum Tuna. $89 every six months for AC and heating service? That seems insane. Insanely good. Like, that seems really good. Less than $200 a year. Like, that seems like a bargain. Even if it doesn't work, like... If, I feel like if you use one, if you utilize it once in every five years, it's insane. I think Undrum Tuna without the numbers is so much better than Undrum Tuna with numbers. What was their flashback card? Oh, Lava Dart? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. I forgot about it too, though, to be fair. Otherwise, they go Lava Dart here, block here, they take one, two, three, four, and then they go to one. But I still think they're in pretty bad... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I still think they're in pretty bad position there. Wow, we should be 2-0. With perfect plays, we would be 2-0 right now, just to be clear. <sighs> Undrum Tune, I'm sorry your voice is so rough, buddy. Hopefully it hopefully it gets better soon. You'll always be two us two to us, man. That's all I could that's all I could ask for. You guys are saints. Uh I have never I've so I've rented uh for like the past 10,000 years and I've always had someone cut my lawn. I've never owned a lawn mower. I'm always like, yeah, I'll give you like 40 to 50 bucks to cut this every month and a half or two months. My job my job is also literally talking. So losing my voice is also super rough. So I know you're I know that feeling. Sammy, why would you need the donation link? This is, this is, you can't be a 48 month sub and still ask for the donation link. You're ridiculous. Can I do donate? Is that a command I have? I don't even know my own commands. Shut up and take my money. Me and Ninja Fortuna did donation and donate. I have no idea which one was correct. Oh, Badger with Lawnmower Fun. <laughs> I don't. Don't, I don't know why. I'm not look. I'm gonna be honest with you, Badger. I'm probably not gonna be buying a lawnmower with that. I just want to be up front with you from the from the get go. I do appreciate it though. Also, a nice even six hundred, which is what makes you feel good about yourself, and that's okay. That's an okay thing to feel good about. You gotta. <laughs> you wanna be like? They're like, sir, why are you buying a lawnmower? I'm like, well, I have to. So I stream Magic the Gathering on the internet for a lot for viewers and uh, they'll donate money to me for playing games and one of them told me I had to use the money they donated to buy a lawnmower. So here I am. And they're like, well, how big is your yard? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And they're like, well, how often does it need to be cut? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know anything. Tattered Bread 36. Wow. That's a totally different name. Land. That's not a land. That's actually the opposite of land. This is a fine trade. I'll make this trade all day. You got it. They, they play something, we mana war it. Then we soul herder mana war. Oh my god, we're gonna mana war that? Get out of get out of town. Oh god, we have double mana wars. Guys. Guys, it's happening. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, I had no idea it was Susie to change my name. Yabba Dabba 2? Oh god, who were you? 
Oh god, this is so this is this is jarring because now you guys are changing your names and I don't know who you are now. Oh god, who oh yo oh, no. Who is Yabba Dabba 2? It's always so hard to give you money. I don't I don't want to be I don't want it to be difficult though. Oh god, I'm so uncomfortable right now. Everybody can change their name right now, and I would literally have no idea who you guys were anymore, and it's really tilting me. I'm going to say no, because I don't really want to... Because then I have to blink... So oh, alright. <laughs> the old Soul Herder Manowar is too much. Say it in French? I can't... I, I don't... Those aren't... I don't think those words translate in French. Uh, what's Yabba Dabba 2 in French? I, I, I don't know. I don't speak for, I don't speak French. I'm also Italian in case you guys didn't know. People often like to capitalize the P in my last name and that is incorrect. People also like to spell it L-A-P-O-R-E. And they spell it L-A-P-O-R-E in forums where my name is literally right above what you're typing. And that's also tilting. I did take two years of French in college though. So, I'm kind of a big deal. I, I want to keep this hand, especially because I'm on the draw. And we have two drop and three drop and the uh, mulligan. This is basically the same hand, only with one more land. And I'm okay with that. Keep. Let's ship an Enduring Sliver, because we don't have any one mana. This is better in the late game with the, with the multiple lands and things and the whatnot. I speak French fry. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's basically language. Can't donate on mobile. This is this is bullshit. Oh, that Soul Herder three O video was great. I'm a fan. Soul Herder is is one of my favorite cards, both in Modern Horizons, and in Modern in general. Oh, Blizzard Strix, always Blizzard Strix. However, if there was a land, we could have taken the land, and then when this guy dies. I keep thinking of this guy as like um, Sheldock Isle, right? Like one day I'll be able to cast it for free and I'll get the most value out of this one. Whereas really it goes back to your hand so you kind of just want to be able to... Uh... Did they get a card? Oh shit. So you kind of just want to be able to... I could mail you five dollars. <laughs> huh. Who is Yabba Dibba with Dabba 2? Who are you? Just tell me who you are. This is unfun. I guess we'll just take a million here. Do you think they'll unban Pod? No. No, I do not. I don't think they have any... There's literal zero reason to unban Birthing Pod. We've gone over this a ton of times. Birthing Pod is a card that gets better with every single set that's printed. It's never going to get worse. It is always going to get better. Birthing Pod is a card that, that scales the more cards that are in the format. There's no reason to unban it. Whatsoever. The whitest name... Oh, Phil. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Alright, so you're playing a saddle around... Your deck is actually very good. Well, I think it's too good for a turn 3 modern. Yes, because that the turn 3 modern is not their goal. They're not trying to keep it as a turn 3 modern format. Like, that's not the... I don't think that's the mission statement of modern. I just want, I wish I put a land here now. But I also figured I would draw more lands than zero lands by turn five, so that's cool.
<sighs> I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is fine. I just think we didn't draw any lands. I think our hand was actually gas if we were able to draw more lands. Well, they're doing a real bad job making it not a turn three format. Uh, oh my god. I'm going to keep this. If we draw a blue, it's great. Absolutely great. Bouncing a mana ward to misplay Shinobi? Sure. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, they missed a second land drop. Did they mulligan? That doesn't even make any sense. They mulligan to six. Oh, alright, here we go. Oh man, we're we're living the dream. Next turn we can misplay Shinobi. That's nice. Okay, well the game's already over because we literally out out outlanded our opponent. So many mans, so many wars, mana wars. So I want them to trade with the Rhyme Stag because this is a great card. If they have, oh, that's what I was afraid of. That's literally, if I was like, if they have Recruit the Worthy, it's bad. And then they had Recruit the Worthy, so. And now we have to play a much more, oh, the Soul Herder actually is insane here. Sammy, the effort you're putting into donating right now is unbelievable to me, dude. I really feel like you're you're going above and beyond, my friend. How about this guy? Get in there for one. Oh my god, soul! <laughs> Every time we get soul hurt or mana we're on the board, they're just like, nah, I can't compete with that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out at manatraders.com. Uh, they have an amazing subscription service where you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with the link and the promo code in my description below. You can also go to coolstuffinc.com and use the promo code FRANK5. Check those out for sure. They're great ways to support the channel. Uh, you can also go to uh, Twitch and subscribe there. It's uh, five bucks a month. My Patreon page, patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. If you want to donate less than five bucks a month, like a dollar, two dollars, that's helpful too. Um, either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.